Doc. Hey, Amadi. What's up, my brother? Hey. Now, I know that your mom was a huge Wentworth Miller fan, and I'm wondering whether <laughs> she switched over to Camp Wahlberg. <laughs> um, you know, she hasn't seen the movie yet. Uh, she wasn't able to go see me in uh, Toronto because uh, we're Puerto Ricans, so anything below 70 degrees is cold, okay. and we were shooting dead in winter, so she wasn't a fan of going. She goes, no, I'll see it in the movie. <laughs> Um, but um, she's a fan of Wahlberg, she is. But her boy, and still, it's Wentworth Miller. Well, can you blame her? I don't know. I you know, it's funny. <laughs> you go, I just recently was home last week, and I walked in, and there's a big picture framed of Wentworth Miller next to mine. I go, are you kidding me? <laughs> you, you, you've been replaced. It's so sad. Now, you said you, you were filming in the dead of winter, yet we, there's a scene in the trailer. We get a glimpse of you. You're, you're on top of a roof. That tells you how much I earned every penny in this movie. Um, it was 20 degrees, Chuck. Uh, it was <laughs> blowing so hard. I, I, I don't, I don't want to tell you what was going on, but uh, it was really, 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 really cold, brother. So I earned every single penny in this one. Now, as a guy, though, I got to know, because I'm a guy who's constantly trying to get into shape. And you're on the roof. It looks like you're probably, the, I think, the best shape we've ever seen you. Because we've seen you with your shirt off in prison break. And I'm like, how does this guy stay in such good shape? <laughs> you know what? It was a little, it just was eating a lot of starving myself. Uh, bananas and tuna. That was it. I wasn't allowed to eat anything else. It just was one of those things. I was doing a movie at that time in which I had already packed a little bit of weight. And the minute I got um, uh, Max Payne, it was like a, a short regimen of, okay, we got to get in shape for this one quick. So a lot of, you know, um, cardio and abs and, and diet. Uh, but thank you. The, uh, the, I think the camera does a lot of work. <laughs> they got the great angles. <laughs> yeah, I, I tell you, it, it really, uh, you know, it's inspiring. Inspired me to go to the gym, that's for sure. Now, did I see you torturing people in this movie? I do. I get the, the pleasure of being the villain. Even though I play a convict in prison break, I'm a good guy, you know. So in this one, it was an opportunity to do something completely different. You know, something that uh, the uh, audience hasn't seen me do. And... Uh, Talk about a great movie, brother. Uh, I mean, it's based on the video game, as probably you know. Uh, I don't know what your age is, but I grew up watching Atari, uh, playing Atari, mm -hmm. not not these new games. And now I'm hooked. I have one at my home. I'm I'm, I'm playing all these video games, and uh, the fans are going to be so pleased with it. And it's just not only just for the fans. It's going to be. It's a great movie in terms of the plot. This detective gets his uh, um, his wife and his kid uh, get his kid get murder, and uh, he's on the lookout for uh, who were the perpetrators of, of, uh, of, of this crime. And uh, we realize there's something bigger, there's something beyond, there's a whole conspiracy going. Yeah, no, so wh how do you think your mom's gonna like the film when she sits down and finally <laughs> sees it? <laughs> you know what, I don't, I don't think she'll be very pleased with it, but it, hey, it's, it's one of those things she knows, you know. It's funny, my mom is the first one that, um, she doesn't like to go behind the scenes because it takes the, uh, the, the Hollywood magic away. Yeah, I'm one of those guys too. I don't want to watch trailers. I don't want to see behind the scenes because you know what I see on screen is, is, is the reality. Well, you're going to enjoy this one, brother. All right, well, thank you so much. I look forward to you, of course. I, and when I, I got, you know, I can't leave without asking this. How is it that Prison Break gets better every single year? I don't You know, <laughs> um, I, I, I just have to say, Thank you to all the fans, you know, loyal fans. We, we, uh, we have a great fan base, and uh, they keep asking for more, and uh, the writers are doing a phenomenal job. I don't know how they come up with these storylines. I'm, I'm the first one that gets completely in awe every time I read a script, but, uh, you know, as long as we're doing... I've always said as long as we're doing the right job, I mean, uh, it's uh, quality work, we're good. The minute it starts lacking, I think that's it. All right, well, we look forward to you seeing you as a bad guy in Max Payne and a good guy on Prison Break. Uh, thanks, Amadi. Thank you, brother.